After two weeks of the veto session, Illinois lawmakers are done with their work for 20. However, before the session ended yesterday, they passed several bills. They also chose not to take action on several others. Our Illinois Capitol Bureau Chief Max Cotton has a recap of this year's veto session. Going into veto session, Illinois lawmakers had a few things they wanted to accomplish. One prominent bill they passed was lifting the 36-year-old moratorium on construction of new nuclear power plants. Now we have the chance to make it clear to potential investors and stakeholders in Illinois that Illinois embraces the advancements of nuclear energy technology and they can start making plans for the future. Governor Pritzker vetoed a similar bill in August. After working with the governor to satisfy his concerns, lawmakers are confident he'll sign this bill. That's not the only bill headed to the governor's desk. Lawmakers quickly passed a bill which could make professional licensing easier. The Illinois Department of Financial and Professional Regulation is suffering through major backlogs in license renewals, particularly in healthcare fields. The bill would allow the IDPFR secretary to automatically renew licenses or extend the deadline for those who are unable to get renewed through no fault of their own. This is perhaps the most important crisis facing healthcare in the state of Illinois, which is crazy because we're talking about licensing professionals. It would also require the agency to modernize its systems to prevent this backlog from happening again. Also notable, what lawmakers didn't vote on during veto session. The Investing Kids Scholarship Tax Credit Program will expire at the end of this year. These kids, these kids that we see all around here, they deserve to know where their legislators stand on these issues. These kids deserve the same opportunities as your kids. These kids deserve an up or down vote. Despite pleas from advocates, including many students, to save their scholarship, the bill never came up. The House also failed to pass legislation mandating public schools and other state facilities offer kosher and halal menu options, despite the bill passing the Senate. In Springfield, Max Cotton, WGEM News.